The NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament begins today. Four teams set to tip off at McHale Center tomorrow, including our very own Wildcats. Everybody here is so excited. And with the games come the visitors to Tucson. News for Tucson, the Cole Costantino is live at McHale Center with the boost that local businesses are... Robbie Destiny, good morning. While two games might not seem like a lot in terms of revenue, we are going to be seeing some higher amounts because you think teams, transportation, food, lodging, all of that, it adds up pretty quickly. So this is the first time since 1998 that the women at Wildcats have home court advantage here in Tucson. And Visit Tucson says just the tournament will bring an estimated one point three million dollars in revenue for the community, but that's just based on the teams and that come with the team flying in band cheer managers. So that doesn't include fans, family members, any of those outside the tournament activities that those even players or visitors might do. So we talked to the executive chef at the Monica downtown and he says he's expecting a big jump in customers both from here and from out of town. The weather couldn't be better. It's that Tucson prime weather. The Lady Cats have done a great job of making sure that Tucson is represented well. And we're excited to make sure to see them do some hard basketball during the tournament. The city also hopes that people who visit Tucson for the tournament will love it so much they come back again or suggest Tucson to others looking for a getaway. And with this weather that we've been having, of course, how can you not love it and how can you not recommend it to other people? So we'll, of course, keep you updated on all things March Madness as we follow both the men and women's teams throughout the tournament, both on air and online. Right now, live from McHale Center, Nicole Constantino, News 4, Tucson.